Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So obviously we are here to do a plan with me. We are doing the week of June 5th through June 11th and I'm going to be using my Make Waves kit which is still in the shop if you want to pick it up. I decided that since I didn't post a plan with me last week it would be the perfect week to do a plan as you go layout because here lately as you guys have probably noticed I haven't really been filling out my planner and I decided to to try this kind of planning since I hadn't done it in a really long time because maybe it would make me actually fill out my planner this week. So I'm going to be kind of all over the place. This is a fair warning, but right now I'm just laying down the bottom washi to start. After I laid down the bottom washi, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of like, wait, where do I start? Because, like I said, it has been so long since I've planned in this type of way that at first I had to figure out what the heck I was doing. So I was originally going to go ahead and lay out all of the glitter headers across the top, but I changed my mind and decided to start off with my date covers. So I'm just laying down Mondays really fast and then I just went ahead and laid out the rest of the week so that I wouldn't have to worry about it throughout the week. After I laid down all of the date covers, I decided to go ahead and do my sidebar so I wouldn't have to worry about it throughout the rest of the week. So I'm just laying down the quote box from this kit that says make waves. I seriously love it so much. And then I'm just laying down my sidebar as normal. So I'm doing one of the glitter headers and then two habit trackers. So after we finished our sidebar, it was finally time to start planning the week. So I started each day off with a glitter header just to cover the heading and to kind of bring in the color blocking aspect that I've really been loving lately. So I treated each day kind of chronologically the best that I could. So the first thing that I did on Monday morning was upload my DIY patriotic wreath video so I'm just writing that in along with a sticker from adorably Amy designs and then the next thing that I did was to start planning this week so I'm just putting in a plan sticker from Kylie and chaos which I love after that, I decided to trim down an ombre box that only had three hearts on it, and then I'm using a to-do header to put in a small to-do list for some of the other things I had to get done that day. So basically, I just had to clean the office and do laundry and that type of thing. After I put in the to-do list, I decided to go ahead and put in a full box to add some decoration to this day and kind of make it a little bit prettier because so far it was looking really functional. So I'm just laying down this palm tree box and then I'm adding a half box because I actually went to dinner with some friends that night. So I'm using some happy munchkins to mark that. And then I realized that it was exactly three months until our trip to Universal that we are going on in September. So I used a strip of a washi and a sticker from Scribble Prints Co. that I picked up a while ago. And I kind of didn't like the washi layered over the full box, so I'm moving up the half box and putting the washi strip underneath. And then this was also the day that I picked out what kit themes that I wanted to release for the shop for the following Sunday. So I'm adding in an icon label and just writing that in. Then it was time to plan Tuesday. I kind of filmed this in batches, not necessarily every single day. So this was my planning session for Monday. I went ahead and planned as much of the week as I could. So just like for Monday, I started off with a glitter header and then we are adding in the Hey Hey It's Payday sticker because Tuesday is payday. And then on Tuesday, I also had to fold the laundry, which 
actually ended up not even being done until like Tuesday, not even gonna lie. And we also had to return a printer from our printer fiasco from a few weeks ago. We still had it lying around the house. So we had to drop off that so that we could ship it back. And then I decided to add in another glitter header so that I could add in some stuff to mark that Tuesday needed to be a major design day. So the previous day I picked out the kit themes, but I still had to turn all of the full boxes that I had been working on into full kits, which can take quite some time. So I added a piece of washi and then a scalloped label from the kit on top. And then I pulled out my Oscar Works sticker to mark that it was gonna be a design day. Next, I wanted to mark that Cody and I were going to go on a date to Chili's this day. So I was kind of trying to figure out where to put it, but I finally put the half box on top of the header. That way I didn't have to worry about covering it up with a heading because I didn't want any of my glitter headers to like line up perfectly except for the ones on top. I know that might be crazy, but whatever. And then I'm using some bunnies from Rainbow Bunny Co. to mark that it was our date day. After that, I wasn't really sure what else I wanted to put on Tuesday, but I did know that I was picking up a shift at work on Wednesday, or so I thought I end up, ended up having to cancel that shift and move it to the next week. But anyway, at this point, I thought that I was going to work, so I used a half box and then a nurse sticker from Rainbow Bunny Co. And then I went ahead and flipped to Thursday to do the exact same thing because I was also picking up a shift on Thursday. So I did a glitter header and then a half box and then another glitter header. Since I figured since I already knew those things, I might as well put them in. And then on Thursday, it was another day that I was uploading a video, which I already knew about. So I decided to put in another sticker from Adorably Amy Designs and write in the decorate with me that I was posting on Thursday. And then while I was on that side of my planner, I figured why not go ahead and throw in your weekend banner. I told you guys I was kind of all over the place for most of this week. So since I was kind of just putting in things that I knew about, I also wanted to go ahead and mark my new releases. So that's what that is on Sunday. It's a scalloped label along with a munchkin from Once More With Love. So then it was time to flip back to Tuesday and Wednesday and work on those days a little bit. So since I had some space, I decided to go ahead and put in a small checklist. So I took one of my checklist flags and then cut it in half and used it in that spot on Tuesday. Because one of the things that bugged me about this planning method when I did it in the past was that I was really bad about not leaving myself any room for writing in a to-do list or anything that would pop up. So I was trying to make sure that I left myself room when I did this layout. So then I really didn't have anything else going on on Tuesday. So I just added in some deco at the bottom. So then on Wednesday, most of the day was gonna be taken up by working and then also cutting and packaging the orders that were open. So underneath the glitter header, I just added in a full box to take up some space. And then on top of the last header, I put a scalloped label and two Oscars so I could write in that we were gonna be cutting and packaging for that day. And then once again, I added a checklist and for like a little to-do list for this day, just in case anything else popped up. So while I was finishing up the planning session for this day, I decided to go ahead and use a half box to put in a to-do list for the things that I needed to do on Thursday for the shop. So I needed to make sure that I printed and cut the new releases. 
I made the pictures for the listings and I did the listings. So I'm just writing in that list here along with putting in an Oscar Works sticker because he is probably my favorite Oscar. So when I started my planning session the next day, I actually flipped over to Wednesday first so that I could make a canceled sticker for the shift that didn't happen on Wednesday. And then instead, I spent Wednesday night reading. So I used a bunny from Rainbow Bunny Co. to mark that. And then for the rest of Thursday, I used a full box because Thursday night I spent talking to my mom on the phone and reading again. So I'm laying out that full box and then using a sticker from Bubba Bear Studios to put in the book that I was reading. And then I moved on to Friday. So on Friday, I started off with a glitter header just like the rest of the week. And then I'm using a sleep in sticker from Chrissy and Designs because I'm kind of in the process of switching my schedule to being asleep during the day because I know I'm going to be working a lot this coming week. So that is why my schedule is going to be crazy for a little bit. So then I laid down a half box because pretty much as soon as I woke up on Friday, I had to get ready for a meetup that we were going to at a barbecue place. So I used a half box to mark that and then also used the planner from the kit and a little pig from Caress Press, which is actually a piggy bank, but I always use it to mark our meetups at the barbecue place that we always go to. And then I flip back to Wednesday for just a second to lay out a scalloped label and a telephone that I found on a sampler from Bubba Bear Studios. So I went ahead and marked my phone call with my mom on Thursday and then on Friday I had another phone call with her so I marked that one at the same time. And then later on Friday night, I actually had a power hour, so I pulled those stickers out which are available in my shop and put that down. And then I put down another glitter header. And then I needed to work on the new release video that needed to go live, so I needed to film it and edit it and all that good stuff so that you guys could watch it before the new releases went live. So I wrote that in along with the same sticker I've been using from Adorably Amy Designs. So after I put that in, I was kind of trying to figure out what I wanted to put at the end of Friday. So at first I started to put in some deco, but I decided I didn't like that and that there was some other things that I could put down there instead. So the first thing that I put down was a Happy Mail sticker from the kit to write in that I ordered my traveler's notebook from Foxy Fix because the processing time is 15 to 30 days and I know I'm going to be asking myself when I ordered it. So I decided just to go ahead and write it in my planner. Then I put the deco down at the very bottom of Friday, but I ended up not liking that either because I'll be moving it in a few minutes, but not before I moved on to plan Saturday and Sunday. So I planned those kind of at the same time and I started off with some glitter headers and then on Saturday I wrote in that I needed to upload the new release video along with a sticker from Adorably Amy Designs. And for Sunday I wrote in that new releases need to be posted. So I I always try to keep Saturday and Sunday kind of light when it comes to work and things like that. So I put in some full boxes to take up some space and then added in some glitter headers underneath the full boxes. And then for Saturday, I put in another sleep in sticker from Chrissy and Designs, and then I decided to kind of jump around a little bit. So I added in the flag that goes over that little flag in the Erin Condren, and then I went back to Saturday and removed the deco from Friday and added that in between the sleep in sticker and the weekend banner on Saturday. 
So for the very last part of Friday, I decided to put in a munchkin so that I could write in that we took orders to the post office that night. And then since I had the Etsy shop owner munchkins out, I decided to go ahead and put in on Sunday that we were going to be printing and cutting orders for at least part of the day. So I used a half box and one of the munchkins to put that in. And then on Saturday, I always like to put that I have to make listings live at 11 p.m. my time so I used a sticker from Bubba Bear Studios to write that. So then in the last planning session of the week I used the binge watch sticker from the kit so that I could write in that I have been re-watching the Vampire Diaries and then I used some of these craft stickers from Once More With Love to write in that I worked on inserts that night for my traveler's notebook. So then the last two things that I added was a reading sticker from Bubba Bear Studios to write that I was going to be reading a book on Sunday night, and then also a computer munchkin to write in that I needed to finish some grab bags. And that was it for this layout. I ended up really loving how it turned out, but I feel like there were some things that I could have done a little bit better to make this method work a little bit better for me. So I think I am gonna try it again for the current week that we are in. So look forward to that and hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time with another one. Bye.